All right, guys, welcome back. It's been about a week since uh, I was here and I've been using the Thermosoft uh, Radiant 4 for about a week now. I wanted to give you an update in terms of what I found out, how I'm liking it. Uh, so let's take a look inside and see how it looks like right now when it's finished. Okay, we got one example down and I wanna kinda of show you how this works. Basically, you lay out these mats and we're gonna have all the wires go up into the thermostat. That's basically how that works. In terms of installing the mat, all you gotta do is get some good quality duct tape and duct tape all around the edge of the mat. Make sure your floor is completely as clean as possible. Don't step on it too hard. Uh, if you need to be on it, you can put some cardboard down and step on it or even plywood too. So we're gonna put three strips across and one strip horizontally and it's all gonna go up there. And see how it's gonna come in now to help us out? Well, it's kind of raining outside, I think. Hi, babe. You ready to do this? Let's do it. Okay, we are done. We've basically, Sarah's pretty tired, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> it's been a long, a lot of work today. Uh, we duct taped uh, the three and fourth piece there. And with all the electrical leads that come out of each piece, you want to tape them along very safely. We did it, went ahead, and so they never really overlap that much. So that's that's the wires going up into this hole that we made with the pipe in there. And this pipe goes up into out of that thermostat. So all this will be cut and then connected to the thermostat and power. And this is the sensor, the temperature sensor. And that's how you should do this. You don't want to cross any of the wires or touch any of the wires with those wires. But this sensor is going to help well, for them, for the thermostat to know what temperature it is. Welcome to the tiny home away from home. Finished a ladder, a nice wooden ladder that helps us get up to the loft. The loft is a beautiful, cozy sleeping area. I try to build some, some cabinets uh, myself. A sink, my refrigerator, and have running water in here, running hot water. Some yoga mats, my desk that I've been doing a little bit of work while I'm away from home. So I um, bought this little bird feeding thing. It's basically like a brick of seeds and stuff. And uh, I got this yesterday, put it up there. It's pretty high up there. I figured the bears won't get to it, but yeah, birds haven't really touched it yet. Hopefully that will change. All right, so let's talk about the radiant flooring and my experience with it. Uh, again, I've been using it for about a week now. Uh, this one is fully electric. It's a lot cheaper to do, and it's also super easy to do yourself. Um, so my experience with this so far is it is Awesome, I absolutely love it so much. I've always imagined the radiant flooring, when you walk into a home, you feel this sort of like heat kind of rising. And I've heard people say things like, oh, you know, your feet are gonna feel a lot warmer. It's gonna feel, the heat's gonna rise up to kind of like your knee level. It heats up more efficiently than saying, than uh, maybe forced air where it's like a, a heater sh shooting heat down from like a, from a ceiling vent. My experience is, is, is that the heat is very, very subtle. Uh, can you feel the heat when you're walking on it? Yeah. Um, what's neat is when you put furniture like the ladder, my desk, and um, I, I usually come with like a bag of clothes and I just put it on the floor. Anything that touches the floor heats up too. So if you have a bag of clothes on the floor, your clothes get to be nice and warm, which is nice. But the point of that is that when you have furniture here, the things in your, uh, in your space get warmer, uh, very gently warmer too which creates an overall atmosphere of warmth. All the walls, the ceilings, the floors, everything just warms up together all collectively. It's a very, very unique experience. It's done almost a little hard to uh, describe unless you try it out or experience it yourself. Some of the benefits that I've noticed from that is that one, it's, it's a very comfortable kind of heat. Uh, it's not dry. It helps control the humidity. Uh, my thermostat has a built-in humid humidity temperature, humidity, thermostat, humidity gauge, one of those things. Anyways, um, it senses humidity, and I notice when it turns it on, the humidity drops down, and humidity actually affects a, a largely how we feel. When it's humid in the cold, it feels extra cold. When it's humid in the hot, it feels extra hot. So this tones down the humidity just right so it's much more comfortable. Another benefit is it heats up the whole thing, so you don't really have any dead spots. 
the whole, think of it as like the whole building warms up together. The third benefit is it's completely silent. You do not hear anything at all, um, which is really, really comfortable. When you go to sleep at night, you forget that it's on. When you come in, you forget that it's on. Another benefit is that it's very easy to install. If you can roll out a rug and then duct tape the edges uh, and then just hire an electrician to do the electrical part, you're set to go. It's super, super easy to do. In terms of any cons, it might take a little longer to heat up the space um, when it's really cold outside. Uh, but aside from that, that's kind of it. All right, that's pretty much it with the floor. Uh, I'm gonna show you the thermostat in terms of how the thermostat takes advantage of this radiant flooring. All right, here is the MISA thermostat that I got to pair it with the radiant floor. Um, <clears throat> basically, it's super simple. Uh, there's only one, two buttons. One is to go up in temperature, one is to go down in temperature. And that's basically it. But what's cool about this is that this is all app enabled. So as long as you have some Wi-Fi, uh, you can control this from anywhere in the home. All right, so this is how the MISA app looks like. You can set the thermostat up or down. This is the temperature of the radiant floor panels. The thermostat is the ambient temperature in the room right now. And, uh, but what's really great is if you go to usage, I love looking at this. If you go to usage, you get to see uh, your usage of the day. So what I've learned is that if you put in the kilowatts uh, price you get on your on your electric bill, so last few days I've spent about $1.61 here, uh, $1.09 here, uh, basically, it's like a dollar to maybe two dollars at most to heat up nonstop pretty much the floor for the day. But I think the best thing about this app is that I get to use this when I'm not at home and I can make sure uh, it's nice and comfortable when I get here. And also in those winter climates, um, I might want to keep it up at a certain temperature so certain things don't freeze. Maybe my solar batteries to keep it kind of a little bit warmer. And it costs so little to heat up and it's such a overall like it's such a safe way to heat up the space you're not turning on a space heater or some kind of electric fan or something like that that could be a much more of a fire hazard if you just leave it here i wouldn't want to do that when i'm not here but it's so useful to see you can track how much money you're spending on it exactly and all you do is set the thermostat you can pretty much set it and forget it and it will always feel just right uh in your space all right and that's about it hope you enjoyed this little review of the thermal soft radiant floor Again, I love this product. I absolutely love it so much. Matter of fact, I love it so much that I'm just going to lay here on the nice warm floor and just take a little nap. See you guys next time.